Hi everyone, join us as we return to Singapore and visit Sentosa Island. Hi everyone and welcome to Dance Destinations. I'm back in Singapore and had a day to myself and I decided to visit Sentosa Island. Sentosa Island, located just off the southern coast of Singapore, is a premier leisure destination known for its pristine beaches, world-class amusement parks and luxurious casino resort. Attractions there include the Universal Studios Singapore, Adventure Cove Water Park, Resort World Sentosa and Siloso Beach. If you find my guide useful and would like to support me, there's a buy me a coffee link in the video description. If that's not something you can do, you can still support the channel by liking the video and subscribing to our channel. It would help me so much. Also, if you're new to the city, Viator offers great tours and experiences for all major cities. And if you click on the link in the video description, it helps us out and doesn't cost you extra. I've used Viator on my overseas trip and highly recommend it. And now, on to the list. In the morning, I started off with the traditional Singaporean breakfast of kaya toast and half-boiled eggs at Yakun. Established in 1944 by Hainanese immigrant Loy A. Kun, this humble coffee stall has grown into a beloved chain across Singapore. Their kaya toast is a quintessential Singaporean breakfast item, featuring thin slices of toasted bread that are generously spread with kaya, a rich sweet coconut spread made with eggs, sugar and coconut milk. Their toasts are paired nicely with half-boiled eggs that are cooked just until the whites are set and the yolk remains runny. They are typically eaten with soy sauce and white pepper for seasoning. After breakfast, it was a short walk to the MRT station to get to Sentosa Island. Singapore's public transport has been ranked the best in the world, and navigating it is so easy. Just do a search on Google Maps by putting in your destination and selecting public transport as your mode of transport, and it will give you detailed instructions and estimated time. Google Maps even tells you which entrance to the MRT station to enter or exit from, and which train line to use. To get to Sentosa, I had to take a train from Chinatown MRT to Vivo City where I had to switch to the Sentosa Express monorail to cross over. You can use your credit card, Apple Pay or Samsung Pay to tap on or off at the train entrance. The MRT trains are air-conditioned, making travel very comfortable. On arriving at Vivo City, I exited the train station at the basement of the shopping centre and followed the signs to the top floor, where the monorail station is. From there, it was a short ride across the Sentosa Gateway to Beach Station. This is also the location of Wings of Time, a mesmerizing outdoor night show renowned for its breathtaking combination of water, light and fire effects set against the open sea. However, I wouldn't have time to visit this show on this trip. I took a short walk to Siloso Beach, a great destination if you're craving some fun and sand. You can relax on the shore or try your hand at beach volleyball or even go kayaking. Singapore was going through a heat wave that day with temperatures of 32 degrees Celsius. But what made it unbearable was the 86% humidity that day, which made it positively sweltering. It's a good idea to visit the island early in the day or in the evenings to avoid the noon heat. There is a free island shuttle bus service that you can take to various points across the island if you feel too tired to walk.
I had booked a ride on the Skyline Luge, a gravity-based ride down specially designed tracks. It is a popular ride that was first introduced in New Zealand in the 1980s and made its way to Sentosa Island in 2005. The ride combines the excitement of go-karting with the thrill of a downhill descent. Step 1. Safety first. Nothing says I'm about to risk my life for a few minutes of fun, like strapping a helmet that feels like it was made for a kid's birthday party. These helmets have sensors in them, which you can later scan to purchase digital photos or videos of your ride. Now, before you think it's all about high speeds and tight turns, let me assure you, it's also about putting your life into the hands of a glorified shopping cart. And when you're packing the kind of body size I have, it's a thrill ride for everyone involved. After that, it was a short walk to the chairlift to take you to the top of the ride. On the way up, you'll be treated to a great view of the island at Siloso Beach. The chairlifts are also one of the ways they transport the cars back to the top of the hill. Next, we meet our chariot. They say size doesn't matter, but whoever said that clearly never tried to squeezing a watermelon into a teacup. Uh, brakes is full all the way back. Huh? Okay, oh. Okay, good. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. It was later after I watched the video that I realised I looked like an embarrassingly overstuffed sweaty potato sack on wheels. But it's all in good fun for your entertainment on YouTube. Who knew gravity could be so much fun? Or so terrifying? Note to self, maybe lay off the curry puffs next time? This thing's handling like a sumo wrestler on a skateboard. The good news is, if I crash, I'll probably just bounce. There's a joy in knowing that despite the laws of physics and the limitation of tiny plastic wheels, we are conquering this hill. The wind in your face, the thrill of the ride, the odd stares from kids half your size, it's all part of the charm. So what did we learn today? The Skyline Luge is a blast, no matter your size or skill. And sometimes, it's the small things, like the tiny cup, that give you the biggest thrills. If you find yourself in Singapore, take a break from the sights and the shopping, and come here, grab a cart, embrace the chaos, Credit. I might need a crowbar to get out of this thing, but it was totally worth it. Next door, you will find iFly Singapore, an indoor skydiving wind tunnel offering a thrilling experience that simulates the sensation of an actual skydive. The experience takes about one and a half hours and it's definitely something I'll try on my next visit. Heading to Universal Studios is quite easy as it's just one stop from Beach Station to Resort World Station, taking about 5 minutes. The air-conditioned carriages provide a welcome escape from the island heat. On exiting the station, you'll be greeted by a pristine and well-manicured courtyard and shopping arcade run by Resort World Sentosa. The dragon holds a prominent and revered place in Chinese culture, symbolizing power, strength and good fortune. Unlike the fearsome fire-breathing dragons of Western mythology, Chinese dragons are often seen as benevolent creatures that bring prosperity and luck. Universal Studios Singapore is Southeast Asia's first and only Universal Studios theme park. Opened in 2010, it offers a variety of attractions, rides and shows based on popular films and television series. The park is divided into seven theme zones, Hollywood, New York, Sci-Fi City, Ancient Egypt, The Lost World, Far Far Away and Madagascar. Next to it, you will find the Malaysian Street Food Centre, which offers a vibrant culinary experience, showcasing the diverse and rich flavours of Malaysian cuisine. Down an escalator, 
you will come to the resort Sentosa Casino. A striking golden statue stands at the entrance of the casino, symbolizing power, good fortune and prosperity in Chinese culture. The casino is a premier gaming destination and is one of Singapore's only two casinos. To gain access to the casino, tourists and non-residents need to bring their passports, but are exempted from paying the entry levy. Sentosa Island is truly a destination that offers a perfect blend of adventure, relaxation and culture. And with that, this video comes to an end. The following is a short preview of my next video. 